On April 24, 2009, Domitila Alvarez headed out for what seemed like another ordinary day at her family's auto repair shop. A mother of five, she was accustomed to long hours managing the shop, making sure everything ran smoothly for her family. But this time, she didn't come home. As the evening grew darker, worry started to take hold of her family. Phone calls went unanswered, and the silence from Domitila was out of character. Her children, anxious and desperate to find their mother, rushed to the shop to check on her. When they arrived, they were met with a chilling scene that would haunt them forever. Domitila lay lifeless in the office, brutally stabbed multiple times. What had started as a routine day had turned into an unspeakable nightmare for her family. The events that followed left more questions than answers. Who could have done this? Why would anyone target a hard-working mother with no known enemies? And how could a crime so violent go unsolved for over a decade? In this video, we unravel the tragic case of Domitila Alvarez, a crime that took years to solve and rocked an entire family and community to its core. But before we dive deeper into the mystery, I'd like to ask for a small favor. The statistics show that more than 70% of you watching aren't subscribed to the channel yet. If you're enjoying these deep dives into true crime and want to stay updated on future cases, please consider subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and ensures you don't miss out on any new videos. Now, without further ado, let's get back to the case. Domitila Alvarez was born in 1971 and grew up in Houston, Texas. She was part of a close-knit family with deep ties to the local community, and her life reflected a strong work ethic and family-oriented values. Domitila was a dedicated mother to five children, raising them with care and devotion. By all accounts, she was a loving and nurturing figure within her family, balancing her responsibilities at home with her involvement in her family's auto repair business. Alvarez's role in her family's auto shop was integral. The shop, located in the Alif area of Houston, was a place where she worked hard to help her family, overseeing much of the day-to-day -day operations. Domitila was described by those who knew her as resilient, always doing what she could to ensure her children and family were taken care of. Friends and relatives remembered her as someone who embodied kindness, selflessness, and a strong commitment to her loved ones. She lived a relatively quiet life, but was deeply respected within her community for her dedication both as a mother and as a businesswoman. Alvarez's children, who were central to her world, would later become key figures in the aftermath of her tragic death. At the time of her death in 2009, her children ranged from young to teenage years, making her murder even more devastating for those she left behind. Alvarez had a typical upbringing in Houston, where she grew up learning the values of hard work and perseverance. The family-oriented environment she was raised in influenced her to be both a supportive partner and a hard-working individual. From her childhood, she took on responsibilities that built the foundation for the strong character that she would later be known for. She was also known to be religious, attending church regularly and instilling those values in her children. The Alvarez family's auto repair business was a reflection of their unity, with every family member playing a part. Domitila herself became increasingly involved in the management side of the business handling customer relations and the shop's operations. She juggled these responsibilities while being a full-time mother, which was no small feat. Her family described her as a pillar of strength who handled the challenges of both work and home with grace. Her life, before it was tragically cut short, was marked by her unshakable commitment to her family and her community. Domitila Alvarez was more than just a mother and a businesswoman. She was the heart of her family, holding everyone together through life's difficulties. Her sudden and brutal death in 2009 left a lasting void not just for her children, but for everyone who knew her. April 24, 2009 began like any other day for Domitila Alvarez. 
She made her way to her family's auto repair shop in Houston, as was her routine. The shop had been a hub of activity for years, a family business where Alvarez often worked late into the evening. On this particular evening, she went to the shop alone, a decision that would tragically change everything. Alvarez's family, accustomed to her diligent work habits, didn't initially worry when she didn't return home at the expected time. However, as the hours passed with no word from her, concern began to grow. Alvarez's children and family members tried reaching her, but their calls went unanswered. Alarmed, her family rushed to the shop, fearing something had gone wrong. Upon arrival, her worst nightmare became a reality. Domitila Alvarez was found lying lifeless in the office of the auto shop, brutally stabbed multiple times. The scene was horrific. Blood covered her clothes, the office door, and several other areas around the shop. She had been viciously attacked in what seemed like an inexplicable act of violence. Alvarez's family immediately called the authorities, and the Houston Police Department arrived on the scene to begin their investigation. Despite the physical evidence found at the crime scene, including bloodstains and other forensic clues, the investigation quickly hit a wall. There were no eyewitnesses, no clear motive, and the suspect remained unidentified. The case that would later haunt the Alvarez family for years had just begun. What was known at that time was that the weapon used to kill Alvarez was a long knife, possibly with a serrated edge, based on the wounds found on her body. Investigators speculated that her killer might have been someone familiar with the shop or the area. Given how swiftly the attack occurred, and how little evidence was left behind. The lack of a clear motive only deepened the mystery, leading authorities to question whether the attack had been premeditated or a crime of opportunity. In the days following Domitila Alvarez's brutal murder, the Houston Police Department launched an extensive investigation. Investigators combed through the crime scene, collecting evidence including blood samples and other forensic material. However, despite their efforts, the case quickly hit a dead end. There were no clear suspects, no eyewitnesses to the crime, and no immediate indication of what had led to such a violent attack on the mother of five. The police discovered multiple bloodstains at the scene, not only on Alvarez's clothes, but also on various objects around the shop. Bloodstains were found on the door leading out of the office, on the security bars, and even on a truck parked outside the shop. This pointed to a violent struggle, and investigators speculated that the killer might have been injured during the altercation, leaving behind their own blood at the scene. Despite these critical clues, the technology available in 2009 was not advanced enough to yield conclusive DNA results. Without a match in the DNA database at the time, the forensic evidence couldn't point to a specific suspect Investigators interviewed several people connected to the shop and those who frequented the area, but no significant leads emerged. Alvarez had no known enemies, and there was no clear motive for the attack. The case baffled detectives, as it seemed to be a random, senseless act of violence with no discernible reason behind it. As time went on, the trail grew colder. The Alvarez family was left to mourn their loss without any closure as the investigation stalled. Years passed without any significant breakthroughs, and the case was eventually shelved as a cold case. Despite this, the Houston Police Department's cold case squad never gave up on solving the mystery. In the meantime, Alvarez's family and the local community were left in limbo, haunted by the knowledge that her killer was still out there, unidentified and unpunished. The lack of resolution was particularly painful for Alvarez's five children, who struggled to understand why their mother had been taken from them so violently. As the years went by, hope began to fade that the case would ever be solved. However, what no one knew at the time was that the key to solving the mystery was already in police custody, just waiting for the right moment. In 2021, the Houston Police Department's Homicide Division Cold Case Squad decided to re-examine the evidence from the crime scene as part of a cold case review project. 
By this time, forensic technology had advanced significantly, allowing detectives to revisit the DNA samples collected in 2009 with new methods that weren't available during the initial investigation. The forensic team focused on the blood samples collected from the crime scene. This time, the DNA analysis yielded a match, Jorge Trevino Cardenas. Cardenas, who had been serving time for an unrelated crime, was linked to the scene of Alvarez's murder. His DNA matched the blood found on Alvarez's clothing and the security bars at the shop, confirming that he had been at the crime scene during the time of the murder. At the time of his identification, Cardenas was already in prison, serving a sentence for the sexual assault of a child, a crime for which he was convicted in 2014. When he was arrested for that crime, his DNA had been entered into a national database, which ultimately led to his identification in Alvarez's case, when the cold case squad reviewed the evidence years later. The breakthrough in DNA analysis was the key to solving the case. Investigators now had definitive proof that Cardenas had been present at the scene of the murder. The blood evidence suggested that during the struggle with Alvarez, Cardenas had injured himself, leaving behind traces of his own blood mixed with hers. This critical piece of evidence tied him directly to the crime, and with no other plausible explanation, authorities prepared to charge him with murder. By January 2023, Cardenas was formally charged with the murder of Domitila Alvarez. The long-awaited break in the case brought a sense of relief to the Alvarez family, who had spent years wondering if they would ever see justice for Domitila's death. After the DNA match pointed to Jorge Trevino Cardenas as the prime suspect, authorities wasted no time in officially charging him with the murder of Domitila Alvarez in January 2023. Despite having already been incarcerated for an unrelated crime, the charges brought a renewed focus to his role in this cold case. Cardenas, who was serving time for a 2014 conviction of sexually assaulting a child, now faced the possibility of life behind bars for the brutal murder of Alvarez. The trial for Domitila Alvarez's murder began in October 2024. Assistant District Attorneys Christopher Condon and Michael Simons led the prosecution, presenting the compelling DNA evidence that linked Cardenas to the crime scene. The blood samples taken from various locations at the shop, including Alvarez's clothing, the door, and the security bars, all contained traces of Cardenas's DNA. The prosecution emphasized how the DNA evidence, combined with the pattern of blood found at the scene, strongly suggested that Cardenas had cut himself during the fatal altercation, leaving behind the crucial forensic trail that would later convict him. In addition to the forensic evidence, a key witness who had known Cardenas in 2009 testified during the trial. This witness, who lived near the auto shop at the time of the murder, stated that Cardenas often carried a long, serrated knife the same type of weapon believed to have been used in the attack on Alvarez. Medical experts supported this claim, further solidifying the connection between Cardenas and the murder weapon. Despite Cardenas's defense team's attempts to challenge the reliability of the evidence, the case against him was irrefutable. The jury, presented with the weight of the DNA evidence, witness testimony, and expert analysis, returned a guilty verdict after just four days of trial proceedings. Cardenas was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after serving at least 30 years. The sentence was a bittersweet victory for the Alvarez family, who had waited over 15 years for justice to be served. Though Cardenas would eventually be eligible for parole, the life sentence ensured that he would spend the majority of his remaining years behind bars providing some measure of closure for Alvarez's children and the Houston community. For Alvarez's family, the conclusion of the trial marked the end of a long and painful journey. While no sentence could bring back their mother, the conviction of her killer gave them the justice they had sought for so many years. This case, once frozen in time, was finally resolved. Thanks to the perseverance of law enforcement and the advancements in forensic technology, 
that allowed Domitila Alvarez's story to be told and her murderer to be brought to account. As we reflect on this case, it's important to ask, what role do advancements in forensic technology play in solving other cold cases like this one? Could similar breakthroughs bring justice to more families waiting for answers? Your thoughts and opinions matter, so let us know in the comments below. How do you think this case could have been different without modern DNA technology? If you found this case intriguing, don't forget to like this video, share it with others who love true crime stories, and subscribe to our channel for more gripping cases like this one. Also, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update when we release new content. And if this story held your attention, you're sure to enjoy the other videos that are popping up on your screen right now. Be sure to check them out.